Stop. H0 moins une minute. There we are. Now, continue with the ignition sequence. It begins at minus 25 seconds, you said, then at yes, minus... Yes, at minus 20 seconds, the first stage engines are ignited. And the second stage single engine is lit at the same time. Now, the ignition sequence is in three stages. From minus 17 to minus 6 seconds, the engines are, engines are tested automatically. At, the, at minus 15 seconds is the first controlled ignition at about 20%. There's the gantry pulling back. That's always an At minus 7 seconds is the second intermediate pressure, 50%. And then minus 3 seconds, the order is given for the final phase. Full throttle. Top. H0, moins 20 seconds. So watch for that. Largage du mat, we'll let you watch Allumage, the final count, and we'll be back. Enjoy the liftoff, everybody. De Attention pour le décompte final. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Top. Décollage. Lanceurs sont nominaux. So, Soyuz, you saw lifting off perfectly from French Guiana, beginning her ninth mission from the spaceport. It's always impressive, no matter how many times you see Soyuz powering into the sky today, the blue sky over French Guiana. What went through your mind as you watched liftoff? Because you've seen her lift off before. I, I, oh, no, I think you're right. I saw it already from Baikonur. Uh, but this time is also very special. <laughs> And difference it's with, to re with daylight. Because in Baikonur you saw the, the, the night, night yes. flight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in the snow, I imagine. No, no, no it was it was during uh, another season. <laughs> 336 tons at liftoff. That's half the mass, roughly, of an Ariane 5. Yeah, the boosters and the central core, or the second stage, are burning now. And you can see them as Soyuz heads north up the Atlantic uh, coast and then eventually east. Boosters weighing 45 tons at liftoff? Yeah, total mass of the first stage is 178 tons. The engines run on liquid oxygen and kerosene, the same propellants which are used in each of the lo three lower stages. Remember, Soyuz weighs, weighed uh, 336 tons at liftoff. The boosters will be separated in just about five seconds. We're waiting for the DDO to confirm that report, and we'll be able to see it. There's the flame out, and there's the separation. Beautiful. You see the four boosters falling away from the mothership. Separation Second stage continues boosters. to burn. Now from 336 tons at liftoff with the boosters gone, how much does she weigh? Yeah, I think uh, we are having 135 tons. So in, in less than two minutes, she loses more than half her weight. On the bottom of the screen, you can see on the left our altitude and distance and speed. The altitude on the left approaching 70 kilometers We're going to separate the satellites roughly around 23,000 kilometers, so be watching uh, for that. Now, the figures on altitude and speed are coming in from the downrange stations, and they're received by the Russian teams in the launch center, where, you, where we where were just a moment ago, and then they're confirmed before being broadcast. The downrange stations for our system are here in Kourou. There's one called Galio. It's behind us in Jupiter. The Soyuz signal will next be picked up by a naval station, which is mm -hmm. actually a ship out in the Atlantic, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, then by Santa Maria in the Azores. Yeah, you're right. It flies, uh, Soyuz flies first to the north and then to the east over Europe. And over Europe, she's picked up in the south by the station near Toulouse, which is called Osagel. Yeah, that's that right. right. <laughs> then she continues east and south and is finally picked up by Perth which will see separation of the two Galileo satellites over Australia. Now, Galileo has her own stations. These are the Arian space stations. Exactly. This is linked to the, to the launcher. So we have having other stations, either for the LEOP, when we take the satellites after separation. And also then, of course, in the Galileo system, you have other stations. But this will be addressed later in the video yeah, transmission. When we have some time, right. We're coming up on jettisoning of the fairing. Now, the DDU has just called that out. You see what happens there. This is a camera not on board tonight. It was on board a previous flight. 